Oh my gosh, y'all. I legitimately just found my favorite RV that I've ever seen, hands down, ever, not even close. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And for you returning viewers, still here in Elkhart, Indiana, in the Heartland Display. And we are here at an event that is an industry event. It's not a sales event. So unfortunately, I do not have sales pricing on this unit. But oh my goodness. Y'all, when I tell you I love what I do, like I live for moments like this right here. Like from what I felt when I walked inside this RV, I was just absolutely blown away. I kid you not, I'm just blown away. This is legitimately my favorite fifth wheel RV that I have ever seen. And it is a mid-profile fifth wheel. It's not even a luxury fifth wheel, but it feels so incredibly luxurious inside. It is unreal. Feels like you're stepping into a very, very nice hotel. Um, I can't recall exactly what hotel I've been to that this gives me the same sort of feeling as, but I know there's a hotel I've stayed in before that feels very similar to what this is and I just can't remember the name of it but it is a very very interesting design inside that I can't wait to get your opinion on so be ready to let me know down below in the comments but like I said this is a Heartland Corterra we'll get to the model number in a second because it's going to be on the door and let me just knock the specs out of the way real quick and actually oh shoot I don't even want you all to see that you can't see that I'll come back out to this later you cannot see that I can't spoil it for you oh my goodness I almost spoiled it you might have seen it already um, gross vehicle weight rating on this is 12,500 pounds, has a 1,780 pound cargo carrying capacity. So that's going to give it, it's going to be somewhere around a little over 10,000 pounds for the dry weight. We'll find that exact spec when we open the door inside. It also has this Dexter toe assist. This is something that's new for 2024, where this is going to give you an anti-lock braking system. Also has an odometer reading for towing, which is interesting because we haven't had that before on towable RVs. So we'll actually have an, uh, odometer on that and it's going to have a, um, sway control sort of system built into that. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I've seen it on some RVs, so I've at least seen the literature on it. Now, as we step back, you do have a cable-driven slide mechanism here. You have a rack and pinion style slide mechanism here. We're gonna go along the non-camp side real quick. Dump valves all coming to this one central spot underneath here for all your black and gray tanks. Fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above that enclosed underbelly and above the insulation. Tankless on-demand water heater, black wheels here that look so good, and these are Goodyear Endurance American-made tires. You have a 255-85R16 tire, looks really nice on there. Has a four-point auto leveling system. It's an electric auto leveling system. Oh, I would love to know what the price on this thing is gonna be. I would love to know. This is, like if I could get any fifth wheel for myself right now, this would be the one. This would legitimately be the one. And, and I'm saying that even with Brinkley, coming out and Brinkley being a stunning fifth wheel as well. I like this better than Brinkley. I'm going to say it right now. I like this better than Brinkley and that might be controversial. There's might be a lot of people that disagree with me on that, but that's just my opinion. You let me know your opinion down below in the comments. But again, this is the Heartland Corterra brand new for 2024. You're going to be able to see some of the floor plan layouts they're coming out with and boy, oh boy, is this freaking awesome. I mean, just such cool floor plans. This is a rear kitchen with a mid bunk that they're gonna come out with. And honestly, they could build any style floor plan and it doesn't really matter. It's the interior space in here that does it for me. And the way they designed it, it's, it's the color schemes and the way that they did the cabinetry, things like that. 30 pound propane bottle. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have slam latch baggage doors. I will say that that's a flaw that I can definitely point out. Uh, I have no idea what they have stored up underneath here, but it's giving you a good look at the storage space. Aluminum framing up underneath here, welds on both sides of your frame. Has these lights here. Let's see if this will turn on. There we go. Have lights there as well. And it looks like those will be motion activated. So you should just be able to leave those on. Have an inverter built in here already. So a nice big inverter there and solar charge controller. So there will be solar already on the roof. And this is a pretty good size storage compartment for a mid profile fits wheel. Now, what makes this a mid-profile fifth wheel, if you don't know, is the fact that it does not have a drop frame construction down underneath here, and it does not have a full profile front cap, so the roof line actually starts slanting down towards the front cap and stay, instead of staying straight all the way through. Same with your roof line going down here, it starts to slant down as well. You can see the two solar panels up on the roof, so that solar should be doing a 
quite a bit. It's giving you quite a bit of power going to the batteries. And then as we come inside, you have the Moride safety rail. This is the CT 3.0, has the glass entry door. Are y'all ready for this? I don't even think y'all are ready. I feel like I might've hyped it up too much, but I don't think I could. I really think it's that great. I really don't think I could overhype it. I absolutely love this thing. As we go inside, be ready to let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm so curious your thoughts on this. Real quick, while we are here filming with Heartland, I wanna take a quick second to ask y'all for a favor. If you've been here for a minute, you know I pretty much never ask for anything directly from y'all. And I'm going to right now because I've been working on something really hard that I'm really excited about. And that is the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. So Firmly Unbound is my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of freedom and exploration in work, play and faith and everything on the firmly unbound youtube channel that i've been working on is going to embody exactly what it means to live a firmly unbound lifestyle based on those principles i'm really excited about what is to come there it's going to be fun and exciting and it's going to be somewhat related to rvs but it's not going to be rv tours you're really going to like and enjoy it i know you will so go subscribe to that channel there is video content that will be coming soon and i don't want you to miss the first video so the one time I do want to come and ask you for something is to ask you to go subscribe to that channel. There's a link down below in the description and the comments of this video and look forward to seeing you there. Welcome in for the first time ever to the Heartland Cortera. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Just take it in. Just take it in. Just soak it in. Observe everything. Take your time to look around. I will not rush through this video. This just must be appreciated for all that it is. Some of y'all don't like the LED light beams across the ceiling. I really don't care. I love it. And I think it's amazing. It looks fantastic in the way that they designed this interior design space. Like, fantastic. These light beams were designed to be in a fifth wheel that has this interior decor. Oh, man. Oh, I am literally, like, I feel like I've fallen in love. Like, it's... It's crazy. I absolutely love this thing. So different, so bold. Oh my goodness, the light fixtures here. Look at that, look at your coffee bar area. Tell me this doesn't look like you are, you know, like what it looks like when you get to a hotel, right? With all the liquor and stuff that you're not supposed to drink because it costs a crazy amount of money. Like that's what this looks like. They have the wine glass holder already built in. It's like everything about the design of this was taken from the concept of a hotel. I just can't remember which one it was. Got to point out too, you have a huge window here on your entry door with a privacy shade. I have all the shades down right now because I think you can appreciate this most with the artificial lighting. Still looks great with the natural lighting and maybe I'll put all the shades up before the end of the video so you can see that too. But yeah, pull down blackout shades on all your windows. I feel like I don't even need to say anything. Like I could just walk through and just let this unit speak for itself. It is just, I mean, black chairs here with the contrast of that. I don't know what this color would be called. If you're an interior designer and know your colors real well, let me know what that color is, but it just looks so good with the black table, black chairs. This is a legless table right here. You have a seamless floor essentially where this flooring in the slide out matches your flooring here. And then I always gotta do this cause I just like to look, okay, no wrap sub flooring underneath there, unfortunately, but I didn't expect to see that cause not a whole lot of brands do that, but there are some. Um, love the lights here in the slide out. Looks much more like a hotel than an RV. Pull down blackout shades again on all your windows. You have this valance that goes all the way around and there is an LED light beam in there, but I don't know that they for sure, like this is just, I'm guessing this is just a prototype. You can see there's actually just a box connected to batteries here for that LED light strip that's in there. So I think they're just testing it out to see how it looks. Um, yeah, please let me know what you think about this fifth wheel. Two recliner seats directly across from your TV. Great view right here, looks great. I should also mention LED light beams do have a dimmer switch on them. We'll get to that in a second when we walk up to the bedroom. Comfortable seating. This is like a pleather material. It will recline. So you have two recliners and then you have a two cushion sofa here. Would have loved if they did a three cushion sofa, but this looks like it's probably a 96 inch wide fifth wheel, which is virtually impossible to do a three cushion sofa on this back wall, unless you want it to go literally from wall to wall, which I wouldn't have minded, but then you would have lost this table side space with some storage down underneath there, which that does kind of complete the look and give it a more elegant look as well. 
Now it does not come with the decor pieces. Those are just here for the display. Big back window here and no handles on any of your cabinetry. Very curious what you think about this. I love the look of it. It looks so clean. You will have a little lip down underneath here so you can see how you have a little lip that you can grab there to open these up. These will not stay open on their own. So they're just, you're going to have to hold them open when you go to open them up. And then you do have these latches right there. I wish it had magnet latches. I would have liked to see that, but I mean, they could have done whatever they wanted on this thing. I would still love it. It is just amazing. That brings us to the TV in the fireplace, multiple different color options for the fireplace. You have a JBL soundbar on top of that wood shelf or tabletop space, whatever you'd call it. And this is a nice, super thin bezel TV. Looks really clean. It's a Sansui brand and it looks like it's like a 50, 55 inch screen. I can't say exactly though. No storage space back behind there, but behind the whole thing, of course you have a hidden pantry back here. So some hidden shelving back through there and even have a, you know, a little bit of storage right there as well that you can utilize. So hidden pantry, going to leave that unlocked so I can get back into that easy for the other videos I have to make on this RV. Island kitchen, look at the finish here on the island. You really got to get in to see the details here. Looks so good. You have your lights down underneath the island as well. No floor vents here for your heat. Have your outlet right there. Solid surface countertop. Again, no handles on any of your drawers or cabinets. They all have this lip that you'll pull on. Spot there for utensils and two other drawers underneath that. Have a stainless steel sink. If they, oh, they should have done a charcoal stainless steel sink. If they would have done a charcoal stainless steel sink, I would have, I think that would have looked so good. Storage space underneath there. And then turn back around. Curious your thoughts on this. The way that they designed this, it utilizes and gives you more storage space because you can see how big that is there, but it's not centered right here. So they also could have centered it and given you smaller storage on each side, which really would not have been practical, but now you're right up against that wall for your three burner stove and oven. Storage here. And oh, that's actually a pullout spot for your trash can. That's not what I was expecting. And a pullout drawer there as well. Three burner stove. This is a Suburban Elite Series three burner stove and oven. So a larger size oven there. And that looks like that has the air fryer feature built into it as well. And storage space down underneath here. Same thing. You have this, you know, matching flooring here in the slide out, even in the kitchen. Sometimes we'll see that in the living room slide, but not in the kitchen slide. So good to see it on both sides. Have a residential size gray stone oven. And up underneath here, that one didn't have as easy of a lip to grab. I guess it was on the side, so it's easier to grab right there for storage up underneath there. You have an Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. So this is going to be running off your battery system and solar. Good size. I'm guessing something like this is probably like a 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Spot there, no ice maker in this fridge though. So keep that in mind if that's a necessity for you. Pantry space here. Oh, it is lit. There is a light that comes on. Yes. Okay. I was like, please have some sort of motion activated light. And then this here just looks so good. Even just a little touch of like the bar across here. It just feels like thoughtful. I love the way the shelving looks with the wood backing back here. Like that just looks, oh, just so, so good. I'm sorry if y'all hate this and you're just like, please shut up. But my goodness, I really do love this storage space under here and storage space under here. Okay. That's just about everything in the living space. Um, I should mention as well, there is lighting somewhere getting into this space. I don't know where it's coming from though, but it looks like there's lighting up in there. Um, the only unfortunate thing about seeing a fifth wheel like this is I hope it does not make me hard. Oh my gosh, that was either going to be the funniest blooper ever that I will leave in a video or that is never going to see the internet ever. And I don't know how I feel, but I might leave that in there because that was about the funniest blooper I think I've ever had. And um, 
Yeah, that is not what I meant to say. I said it makes, I meant to say it makes it hard to get excited about other fifth wheels when I see them because they're just not this. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm going to leave that in there because I honestly thought that was hilarious. But gosh, that's really pushing the boundary of uh, being family friendly. Um, if I cut out that blooper, y'all will just never know what I just said. But if I left it in there, I hopefully, I hope that y'all laughed and appreciated that little bit of humor that I completely did not mean to say. But it just happened. It just came out that way. Um, as you come through here, slide out controls, lights here for your... LED lights, and then they do have a dimmer switch on them as well. So you can dim them in here. And that's at their lowest, oh my gosh, it just looks so good in here. It doesn't matter how bright or dim those lights are, it just looks fantastic. I love it. Okay, um, let's keep going this way, up the steps. Love the way they designed these steps, that looks very nice there. You can put your shoes underneath here. No grab handle going up into the bathroom though. And I'm gonna show you the bedroom first because y'all, look at this bedroom. And now you're getting a look at it with the windows open. Look at the bedding they put on here. And look at how nice this looks. This is not a mid-profile fifth wheel. This is a luxury fifth wheel that's pretending to be a mid-profile fifth wheel. Y'all, come on, come on. Look, look at this. Look at how they designed those cabinets. Come on, y'all. This is too nice. It's too nice. It's not a mid-profile. This is a luxury fifth wheel. Oh, my goodness. This is just... Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm legitimately overwhelmed. I want to take this home with me right now. And I bought too little of a truck to even have the opportunity to even do that. And I don't feel like going and trading in a truck right now. Because I just don't want to do all that. But I want to take this home with me. storage all through here. I'm at a loss for words. I'm sorry if I just sometimes go silent. I'm just taking it all in. Some of this stuff I haven't even looked at yet. And I'm just in love. I'm just in love. Even has like a little step down into that area there with how it's framed out. Space to walk around the bed here. Plenty of room to walk straight around. Look at the bedding again. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Two ACs in here. You have actual curtains on your windows. They're making this like a hotel. It would have been nice to maybe have the blackout shade too because you're not going to actually get the function of blocking out all the light with that. But nice feel nonetheless. And these are just on clips right here. So easy to take that off and wash that because I was already thinking about, oh, I hope my hands aren't dirty. But I do wash my hands regularly throughout the day when I'm filming RVs because they do get dirty. So I'm mindful of that. Six drawers there. Mattress it comes with is about as basic of a mattress as you're going to find, so nothing to go crazy about with that. Storage space underneath here and not strut assisted, surprisingly, so would be nice to see some struts there. Sliding farm style door here going into the bathroom. Dimmer switch here for your lights. Oh, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. Look at this, y'all. Come on. Come on now. Oh, it just is so nice. Look at the, like, it's not even just the mirror itself, it's the woodwork behind it. Just having those vertical, you know, um, cuts into there, giving it that look and that dimension. I love it. Black faucet here, look at how nice that faucet looks. Love it. It's a plastic sink, which is not crazy, but um, something I'm not crazy about, I should say. Washer dryer connection here. This is, looks like it's going to be for a combo washer dryer, and you do have clothing rod in there. Y'all, I would take this home with me to Texas in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think about it. I wouldn't even think about it. I would just take it. If they said you can take it, I would literally just pay to have it transported and figure it out. That's how much I like this thing. This is my one critique, though. It does have a corner radius shower. And I say my one critique. I've critiqued some other things on it. Y'all know I keep it honest. And I point out the things that are maybe not preferred. But corner shower, not ideal. Um, could definitely make it work because the ceiling height is great. Ceiling height to here is probably like 6'3", maybe 6'3 and a half, maybe 6'4". Um, skylight's going to give you height to like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. And then you're going to have this shower head here where it does actually sit above my head. So I would only have to duck a tiny bit to get it on the top of my head. But it is a um, fiberglass molded one piece shower, which that's good. It's not plastic. You have a towel rod there and a shelf. Wi-Fi router would be installed here in the bathroom if you want it. And you have a porcelain foot flush toilet. 
Oh man, y'all. Oh man. I legitimately like, I like this better than Brinkley. Just crazy. I did not think I was going to come here and see something that I like better than Brinkley. Wow, y'all. Okay, so let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts on what you think. Again, this is the Heartland Corterra. And if you missed it, the event that I'm at does not have any pricing displayed. It's actually not an open to the public event and no RVs are being sold here at this event. This is just for dealers to come and talk to manufacturers to place orders on units for them to have at their dealerships. And then it's not until the unit actually gets to their dealership that they then establish a price. So no pricing here, unfortunately. I don't know what this thing is gonna cost. You can see they have multiple different floor plans they'll be coming out with. I would take any one of them, does not matter. This thing is freaking amazing, I love it. And I wanna know what you think. So let me know down below in the comments. I am just at a loss for words. I don't even know how I can film another RV after this one because none of them will live up to what this one was for me and the experience I had when I walked in there. Sorry if I just went over the top on y'all, but I really do geek out over some of this stuff sometimes. and. It's few and far between when I have that experience of just being blown away by the design of something. And that definitely happened to me today. So thank you, Heartland and the Corterra team for everything you've done, for blessing my eyeballs with getting to experience this. And hopefully y'all feel the same way. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bound.